Colonel Paul Tibbetts was just 30 years old when he dropped the world's first atomic bomb on Hiroshima, Japan, in a plane he named the Enola Gay after his mother. But for all his accomplishments, rising to Brigadier General in the Air Force, a long career at Executive Jet Aviation, and finally earning a place in the National Aviation Hall of Fame, the military officer never dwelled much on his most well-known mission. In fact, when he was interviewed for airport journals, he reflected on a more personal bombing run. He recalled how at the tender age of 12, he talked to barnstormer Doug Davis into letting him ride along on a run, dropping baby Ruth candy bars over the racetrack at Hialeah. What could possibly be more exciting than a mission that changed the whole world? He said, as nothing to match the thrill of a 12-year-old boy's first airplane ride.